the 1958 FIFA World Cup, the sixth staging of the World Cup, was hosted by Sweden from May to 29 June. The tournament was won by Brazil, to beat Sweden 5-2 in the final for their first title. The tournament is also notable for marking the debut on the world stage of a then largely unknown 17-year-old Pelé. Argentina, Chile, Mexico, and Sweden expressed interest in hosting the tournament. Swedish delegates lobbied other countries at the FIFA Congress held in Rio de Janeiro around the opening of the 1950 World Cup finals. Sweden was awarded the 1958 tournament unopposed on June 23, 1950. The hosts, Sweden, and the defending champions, West Germany, qualified automatically. Of the remaining 14 places, nine were allocated to Europe, three to South America, one to North, Central America, and one to Asia, Africa. This World Cup saw the entry and qualification of the Soviet Union for the first time, and the only qualification of all the United Kingdom's home nations, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Aside from the main European zone matches, Wales, which finished second in its group behind Czechoslovakia, was drawn into a play-off with Israel after Israel won its group by default because its three opponents, Turkey, Indonesia, and Sudan, refused to play. FIFA had imposed the rule that no team would qualify without playing at least one match, something that had happened in several previous World Cups. Wales won the play-off and qualified. On February 8, 1958, in Solna, Lanart Highland and Sven Juring presented the results of the draw where the qualified teams were divided into four groups. Seating was geographical rather than by team strength, with each group containing one Western European team, one Eastern European team, one of the four British teams that had qualified, and one from the Americas. This tournament saw the first, and, as of 2014, the only, appearance of Wales at the World Cup Finals, and the only time that England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have qualified for the same tournament. It also marked the debuts of the Soviet Union and Northern Ireland. Argentina appeared for the first time since 1934. This would be Paraguay's last finals appearance until 1986. Northern Ireland's last until 1982, and Austria's last until 1978. This FIFA World Cup Finals remains the only occasion on which Italy failed to qualify. Italy did not take part in the 1930 tournament but there was no qualification for that competition. Other teams that failed to qualify included Uruguay, Spain, and Belgium. The format of the competition changed from 1954, 16 teams still competed in four groups of four, but this time each team played each of the other teams in its group at least once, without extra time in the event of a draw. Two points were awarded for a win and one point for a draw. If the first two teams finished on equal points then goal average would decide who was placed first and second. As in 1954, if the second and third place teams finished on the same points, then there would be play-off with the winner going through. If a play-off resulted in a draw, goal average from the group games would be used to determine who went through to the next round. If the goal averages were equal then lots would have been drawn. These arrangements had not been finalized by the time the tournament started and were still being debated as it progressed. Some teams complained that a play-off match, meaning three games in five days, was too much, and before the second round of group matches FIFA informed the teams that goal average would be used before resorting to a play-off. This was overturned when the Swedish Football Association complained, ostensibly that it was wrong to change the rules mid-tournament, but also because it wanted the extra revenue from play-off matches. This was the first time that goal average was available to separate teams in a World Cup. It was used to separate the teams finishing first and second in one of the groups. 
however all three playoffs finished with decisive results and so it was not needed to separate the teams involved in a tied playoff. Almost all the matches kicked off simultaneously in each of the three rounds of the group phase, as did the quarter-finals and semi-finals. The exceptions were Sweden's three group matches, all of which were televised by Sverige's radio. These started at other times so Swedes could attend other matches without missing their own teams. Apart from these, one match per round was televised, and relayed across Europe by the European Broadcasting Union, EBU. Many Swedes bought their first television for the World Cup. The official ball was the top star ball and 1958 inch model made by Sitzvinska later and Remfabrik Saab, aka Remen or Salater, in Angelholm. It was chosen from 102 candidates in a blind test by four FIFA officials. In Group 4, Pele did not play until the last of Brazil's group games against the Soviet Union. He failed to score. But Brazil won the game 2-0, much thanks to an impressive exhibition of dribbling prowess by his partner Garincha, and the group by two points. Previously, they had drawn 0-0 with England in what was the first ever goalless game in World Cup history. Eventually, the Soviet Union and England went to a playoff game, in which Anatoly Lin scored in the 67th minute to knock England out while Austria had already been eliminated. The English side had been weakened by the Munich air disaster earlier in the year, which killed three internationals on the books of Manchester United, including England's young star Duncan Edwards. Playoffs were also needed in Group 1, Northern Ireland beat Czechoslovakia to join the defending champions West Germany in the quarter-finals, and Group 3. Wales topped Hungary to advance with host Sweden. Hungary had become a spent force after their appearance in the final of the previous tournament. They had lost their best players two years before, when they fled in the wake of the failed uprising against the communist regime. In a rather restrictive sense, from the 1954 team, only goalkeeper Gilla Grossics, defender Jos Vosik and forward Nander Hyde remained. In Group 2, Scotland faced Yugoslavia, Paraguay, and France. France topped the group, with just Fontaine netting six goals. Yugoslavia finished second, while Scotland came in last. The quarter-finals saw France's Just Fontaine continue in similar form to the group stage, managing another two goals as France triumphed over Northern Ireland. West Germany's Helmut Tran put them into the semi-finals with a single goal against Yugoslavia, while Sweden went though at the expense of USSR. The other game in the quarter-finals saw Pelé score the only goal against Wales. In the semi-finals, Sweden continued their strong run as they defeated West Germany 3-1 in a vicious game that saw the German player Erik Jaskowiak sent off the first ever German player to be sent off in an international game, and German veteran forward Fritz Walter injured, which further weakened the German team, substitutes were first allowed in the 1970 FIFA World Cup. In the other semi-final, Brazil and France were tied 1-1 for much of the first half. However, 36 minutes into the game French captain and most experienced defender Robert John K suffered broken leg in a clash with Vava, and France was down to 10 men for the rest of the game, substitutions were not allowed back then. Brazil dominated the rest of the match, as a Pelé hat-trick gave them a 5-2 victory. Fontaine of France added one goal to his impressive tally. The third-place match saw Fontaine score four more goals as France defeated West Germany 6-3. This brought his total to 13 goals in one competition, a record that still stands. The final was played in Solna, in the Rasunda Stadium. 50,000 people watched as the Brazilians went a goal down after four minutes. However, Vava equalized shortly afterwards and then put them a goal ahead before half-time. In the second half Pelé outshone everyone, notching up two goals, including the first one where he lobbed the ball over Bank Gustavs and then followed it with a precise volley shot. 
Zagallo added a goal in between, and Sweden managed a consolation goal. The final holds many records in World Cup history. Pelé became the youngest player to play a World Cup Finals, the youngest scorer in a World Cup Final and the youngest player to win a World Cup winner's medal. Nils Lai-Edham became the oldest player to score in a World Cup Final, 35 years, 263 days. This final had the highest number of goals scored by a winning team, 5, the highest number of total goals scored, 7, together with the World Cup Finals in 1970 and 1998, it also had the greatest victory margin, 3. The game is also notable for the first and only appearance of Sweden in a World Cup Final, and for the first Brazilian win of a World Cup Final. Brazil's victory also providing the first that remains to this day, it was the first time that a European team failed to win the World Cup staged in Europe.